Good evening. Let me go ahead and call the special meeting of the Board of Education of the Rural Grand City Agria Independent School District meeting to order. It is Tuesday, November 29th, 2022. The time is 6.30 p.m. and we're at the RGCGISD Family and Community Engagement Center located at 1 South Fort Ringgold, Rural Grand City, Texas. Section 1, meeting call to order for purposes of canvassing. Let the minutes, there's only uh, two board member quorum required. Let the minutes reflect that all board members are present with the exception of El Elisar Velasquez Jr. So we may proceed for purposes of canvassing. Section two, is canvassing of the, of the school board election. Uh, item one, canvass election returns of the school board of trustees election on November 8th, 2022, and approval of the order declaring results of trustee election. Mr. Adolfo Pena. Yes, good evening, Mr. President, members of the board, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, for candidates for position five, we have Veronica P. Barrera with 2,967 votes. Position five, Dalinda Escobar, with total of 2,964 votes. These are the results. Thank you, Mr. Pena. Before we proceed with the officer statements, will everybody join me with the Pledge of Allegiance, please? Uh, but you need, to, uh, you need to go ahead and uh, accept the votes. Okay. So make a motion to accept the, the, the campus right. the votes. Thank you for calling me out on that. All right, so I don't want to have a motion on item number one, item one. I so move that we accept the votes as presented by Mr. Pena. Okay, there's a motion by Mr. Vardial. Is there a second to that motion? Seconded. Second by Mr. Pena. All those in favor, so signify by raising your right hand. Same sign, motion carries. Now uh, we proceed with the Pledge of Allegiance. Mr. Vardial, will you lead us with the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Mr. Varrial. Item number two is the signing of officer statements. It's my understanding that all the officers have signed their statements. Is that correct? That's correct. That's correct. All right, so then we can proceed to item three, which is the administration of oath of office of new board members. I will proceed by order of place. First one was Mr. Basilio Di Varela Jr. for place number three. So for the oath of office, in the name and by the authority of the state of Texas, I, I Basilio D. Villarreal, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear or, affirm, or affirm that I will faithfully execute the duties of the office that I will faithfully execute the, uh, the duties of the office of the Board of Trustee place number three of the Board of Trustee place number three of the state of Texas of the state of Texas and will to the best of my ability and will to the best of my ability preserve preserve protect protect and defend and defend the constitution the constitution and the laws of the united states and the laws of the united states and of this state and of this state so help me god so help me god <laughs> congratulations mr Barrera. uh place number 5 dr veronica barrera <laughs> so for the oath of office in the name and by the authority of the state of texas i i veronica barrera do solemnly swear do solemnly swear or affirm or affirm that i will faithfully that i will faithfully execute the duties of the office execute the duties of the office of the board of trustee of the board of trustee and your place place number five <laughs> Of the state of Texas. Of the uh, state of Texas. And will, to the best of my ability. And will, to the best of my ability. Preserve. Preserve. Protect. Protect. And defend. And defend. The Constitution and laws. The Constitution and laws. Of the United States. Of the United States. And of this state. And of this state. So help me God. So help me God.
Congratulations, Dr. Barrera. Yeah, and Mr. Noe Castillo, place number six. No, he can raise your right, right hand. In the name and by the authority of the state of Texas, I, I Noe Castillo, Noe Castillo, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, or affirm, or affirm that I will faithfully execute, that I will faithfully execute the duties of the office of, the duties of the office of Rio Grande City GISD School Board Trustee, Rio Grande City GISD School Board Trustee. Play six. Play, play six. Play six. Play six. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> of the state of Texas. Of the state of Texas. And will, to the best of my ability. And will, to the best of my ability. Preserve. Preserve. Protect. Protect. And defend. And defend. The Constitution. The Constitution. And the laws of the United States. And the laws of the United States. And the state. And the state. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, uh, Noe. Uh, Congratulations, Novi, Mr. Castillo, uh, myself, Eduardo Eri Ramirez for place number seven. Who's got your form? Okay. Make sure you give me the right one. In the name and by the authority of the state of Texas, right hand, I, I, Eduardo Eri Ramirez, Eduardo Eri Ramirez, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, or affirm, or affirm that I will faithfully execute, that I will faithfully execute the duties and the office of, the duties and the office of, RGCGISD, RGCGISD, school board of trustee, school board of trustee, place seven, place seven of the state of Texas, of the state of Texas, and will the, and will to the best of my ability, and will to the best of my ability, preserve, preserve, protect, protect, and defend, and defend the Constitution, the Constitution, and the law of the United States, and the laws of the United States, and of this state, and of this state. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Before uh, I adjourn, which is the next item, uh, I do want to give everybody a chance to say a few words that they like. Uh, Dr. Barrera, do you want to say a few words to the public? And I can go next. You can go next? Okay. Mr. Barrera, do you want to sure. be first? First of all, let me just take this opportunity to thank everybody in our RGCGISD school district. Uh, when we first started uh, some 20 years ago, 20 some years ago, when I was a young fellow, uh, I ran under one simple caveat of saying kids come first. At the end of the day, I think this district is about kids coming first. We have a lot of people here. Uh, I couldn't say enough good things about them. Uh, superintendent, principals, administration, uh, teachers, janitors, cooks. I mean, the whole slew done a tremendous job this year. Uh, I congratulate uh, all of you. I congratulate our business department with... Uh, Ms. Robles, uh, Mr. Peña, and every single one of our RGC GISD family for do doing just a wonderful job. I've been here 20 some years, and I have to say this is the best year I've ever seen in my life. I see some people out there that are young people. I see some old people. I see people a little, a little bit older than I am, Mr. Klein, and that's hard to find these days. But at the end of the day, and, by, and be, on my behalf, I just want to say thank you. And before I, I shut it down, let me take this opportunity to to thank uh, my late father, Basilio Villarreal, and my late mother, Socorro Villarreal. They were very instrumental in, in my upbringing. I also wanted to thank, uh, last thing would be my family, my wife, Maria Delina Villarreal, my son, Chico's here. Uh, even though he's not Chico, he's a, a, big, a big guy. 
Dominique Villarreal and, uh, and Rene Loy. And the reason I want to thank my family is because, as we'll find out in, in, in politics and in, in school board, the trials and tribulations of life, the, their families go through a lot. So on my behalf, to all the members of the RGC GISD family, I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. And let's make this year something that is incredible. Thank you. Dr. Veronica, no, Mr. Noe Castillo. Uh, I want to thank, uh, first of all, God for giving us the opportunity to be here again uh, for a second term. I want to thank my wife and my family. Uh, as uh, she just said, that uh, they're the ones in the middle of everything that happens here. Nothing could be done without all of you all there and, uh, and the voters that came out to vote. So, you know, we're here to serve. We're here for the community. And... Uh, you know, uh, we're here to make it the best, uh, of, you know, the better, a better tomorrow, and it's all about our kids in the future. So uh, I'll keep it short. Thank you all very much, and God bless you all and everybody that's out there. You know, thank you for the support, and uh, I want to congratulate all the, the uh, uh, board members that are here and, uh, you know, the reoccurring ones, which is, uh, uh, you know, us three. But, um, uh, Benoica, we, you know, hey, congratulations. And, uh, you know, we're here to work together. We're a great team, and I think that uh, we can do a lot together in the future. So thank you all. Thank you. Uh, personally, I wanted to say thank you to everybody, um, everybody who voted, everybody who's uh, invested in the school board in one way or another, invested in the school district, everybody whose affection for public service shows because at the end of the day, this is a non-paying job. It's a volunteer job, and everybody up here is here for a reason, not because they like to get attacked viciously on uh, Facebook, but because in one way or another, they want to give back to this great community. And the way you do that, uh, the biggest way to me is uh, the school district. I told someone earlier today, I have three great loves in my life. My immediate family who's present here, my mom, my late dad, uh, my brothers are here. Uh, my wife is in the back somewhere with my stepdaughter. Without them, you know, nothing is possible. It'd be, it'd be hard to get by through a lot of the hectic times, like Mr. Varela was saying. And then I have my law firm, my business. But this is my third love. I don't have an, any other vested public service interest. I don't have any other uh, investment community service-wise because it's here, all of it is here in this school district. I devote all of my time and all of my love and all of my energy because that's how high of a, in regard I hold at this district. And I want to thank everybody who believed in me, who believed in our slate, who believed in uh, those who, who ultimately prevailed because it takes a lot. It takes a village. It takes an organization. It takes everybody who participated. And thank you for blessing us to do, to do and continue doing with that which we love to do, which is serve serve this great district. What I keep continuing to say is the greatest district in the world, and we will continue to provide and guide in the way that we know how to, to make this district competitive at every single level. So thank you all so very much for everything you've done. Thank you to the voters who came out and exercised their right to vote, and to those who believed and continue to believe in us, as we will not let you down. I promise you that. Thank you again so very much from the bottom of my heart. Dr. Barrera. Good evening, everybody. Um, I wasn't prepared. I, I wasn't really prepared. That's why I wanted you all to go first. It's okay. But I do want to tell everybody, uh, thank you so much for those of you that supported uh, my husband, uh, Ediel Barrera, myself, Mr. Danny. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for your votes. Thank you so much for your trust. Um, I'm going to be very positive today, this evening. And I just want to tell my husband thank you. He was the one that really did all the hard work. And um, he's the one that inspired me to run. Um, his passion to do good and to serve the community uh, was what inspired me. I was very, very far from politics. I had no intention to be in politics, but it was him that he inspired me um, to run. And then, well, now I'm here. So I'm going to do my best. Um, I'm here. Anything anybody needs, I'm here to work with everybody. Um, I'm really here to do what's best for the kids and the staff. And um, just know that I'm here for that. Thank you very much for those of you that supported me, and thank you for those that gave us a fair 
uh, election. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mr. President, uh, before I hang up also, I look forward to working with everybody, everybody here and making this a, a great district. Congratulations. And on behalf of Johnny Pope and myself, we'd like to... Uh, <laughs> I was going to ask you if you wanted to... We'd like to welcome you all to the board. <laughs> uh, looking forward to working with everybody. Thank you so much. John, I'm not going to let Jay speak for you. We're, it's not our spotlight. So. <laughs> well, I'm still here. So <laughs> thank everybody that voted for me um, in this election. And to everybody that didn't, I hope to win your support. I'm here for the right reasons. Um, I want to do good. I want to uh, be a public servant, and I want to work with everybody here and uh, do what's best for the, our children and for the staff because we are simply the face here, but you all are the ones that do everything. And so um, the congratulations should be to you all. So thank you. Do we have refreshments? Do we have refreshments right now? We have refreshments in case. Okay, go ahead. Yes. Mr. Peña, do you want to say anything? Yes, thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. Once again, congratulations to all of you, and uh, we look forward in working with each and every one of you. We have a great district, and we know that we're going to work together. We can get, get it to higher grounds. Uh, you know, a few weeks ago, we had the Commission of Education call on our district because of the success that we've had. So that's the first time ever that I think that a commissioner in education has ever reached out. So that's a tribute to all the hard work of our staff. We have an amazing staff. So we welcome you, Ms. Barrera, to our team. And uh, we know that we're going to continue to do great things in our district. So welcome. Uh, at the end of this, we have refreshments. So please join us. And thank you, community, for being out here and all the support that you've given us. Thank you. With that being said, go ahead and if you all can stay behind and join us for refreshments. I'll go ahead and adjourn the meeting. It is 6.47 p.m. Thank you all again for being here tonight. Thank you so much. John. John.